Alright mate, Slime Man here and welcome back to some more Smash Bros World of Light. Now last time we um, kind of stood next to Rathalos with a primed explosive <laughs> and well we um, we've only got a few foes left it seems. So um, with half of the Smash roster suspiciously missing we're gonna take on Galeem and Well, um, I left that on a bit of a cliff of anger, and I'm a bit stupid for doing that, but yeah, we, uh, Master Hand and Crazy Hand are kind of there. So, um, let's, uh, let's, um, yeet ourselves back into space, into orbit, as we do. Ah! And, um, let's, um, get going to, um, these two then. As we're all familiar with everyone's favourite floating glove, um, Master Hand is series staple for Smash Bros and interestingly enough he actually became a boss character along with Crazy Hand became a boss character in Kirby as well. Which is honestly that's, that's actually quite a fun reference that. Probably won't be that hard of a fight to be honest. I'm at least somewhat decent with the hands to be honest. The wind box like just gently pushed me off the ledge there. But yeah, I, I just completely ripped through him there. We're only like a minute into this video and I've just like already like torn master and apart you know like you know the whole like one piggy goes to the market thing like just like just like done that with each one of his fingers and broke each one up but yeah seeing as um, um master and kind of um kind of glitched out and died dead um, there's a uh, Kind of another path that I want to do, you know, just for the sake of completion. So we're gonna jog on over there. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a bit of a while, isn't it? I'm stupid, me. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just remembered somewhere. We're still not done this path. We thought we had it almost all done in that, and then. Well, we've still got some of this stuff to do. So, looks like we'll be doing some tidying up around here. So we've got an invisible Zelda. Which is weird, because I can currently see her right now. And in fact, she doesn't still doesn't look all that invisible to me. Nice try at being invisible, but I'm mean, ashamed that you're actually kind of bad at it, Zelda. I actually almost hit her then as well. I thought she almost survived and like I just like saw her like careen into the blast zone and I thought, ooh, she might actually survive this one. Oh, who else is in need of being removed from existence? Yeah, we're fighting rats again. That is a rat, sir. That's one thing I genuinely can't do is I can't roll R's. So it's one thing that I had a problem with, like doing whenever I was learning Spanish in school, which is something that I actually did. Uh, at some point I actually learned, you know, like, a bit of Spanish. And all I can remember is stuff like, you know, um, stuff like, all I come over with that, and, um, stuff like, Wega, 
which I believe means uh, I don't know. It's a uh, it begins with a J anyway. But it means like to play a game or something. And then one thing that always like, sticks into my mind is like Gato, meaning cat, because there's also Gato, the French word, which is like way too many letters at the end of it for one sound. Um, Gato is actually really nice, to be honest. Like as much as people need to like dunk on, you know, French people. Um, the what's it called? I will say like. Gato and Ratatouille in there are all pretty nice to be honest. I had Ratatouille for the first time like like a few weeks ago and now we've just kind of been religiously having it because it's nice. <laughs> but yeah, the what's it called? The... What does it say now? Yeah, about Gato. Gato is also... Um... Whenever you say like El Gato in Spanish, it's like also the same name as a capture card company. I know because I am quite literally looking at one right now. <laughs> but yeah, every so often, like you know, whenever it comes to, like Spanish finger, I just remember to like a like a quesadilla and stuff like that. I just well, speaking of stuff that like, has like Spanish roots in that. Um, oh, Spanish speaking country fingers. Um, I often have like a lot of um, like tortillas and that, but I am the only person I know who calls them tortillas, everyone else calls them chicken wraps for some reason. And it just feels wrong to not call them what they're actually called. Because why call them chicken wraps if you're not putting chicken in them? You're putting beans in them, then it's not a chicken wrap. So we got to go around the, the long way and fix this road or whatever. I'm just trying to remember how stupid am I that... Because like currently my brain's just not working, so uh, I apologise. I should try to turn it off and then back on again. Let's try going through this way, I guess. You know, for someone who's played like World of Light a ridiculous amount of times, I just generally like mess it up like so many times it's not even funny. Well I guess it is kind of funny considering the how bad I am at it. Is this from that fossil fighters thing? Ready, go. Guess it is. You know, for someone who actually like really likes dinosaurs and that, I've genuinely never played Fossil Fighters before. Um, I don't know if I've like really mentioned it much before, but like I do actually really enjoy dinosaurs and stuff like that. Um, I'm always like up to date on the new Spinosaurus news because they keep discovering something new about it every three weeks. But yeah, um, I've played the um, Dinosaur King game now. I only have like a very vague. Oh, this is gonna be a an awkward match. See, normally whenever you see Crom, you're like, oh, this is gonna be fun. This you can easily throw him off the edge. But I mean, but we if we stand on the ground, we get electrocuted, and then Crom punches us for being electrocuted. Kind of unfair, to be honest. How about you get out of my way? That would be preferable, I think. You know what, I'll just SD. It's just easier to start over that way. Fire floors and electric floors are like downright the worst type of floor. 
So I'm just gonna humiliate Crom. Why did it say humiliate so like weirdly then? I have no clue what happened then, but I'll take it. Come on, Crom, show everyone your easily dunkable recovery. How about I end you instead? I know his recovery is actually going to be somewhat decent now because he can jump. I don't know why I was just about like to cut Adventure Time said that Toast Bananas. That just reminded me of like, that cringe Nene baby meme. I don't know why it did, but it did. Victory! He killed himself for me! Thank you, Crop! What a polite man! <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Incredible! Incredible! I don't know why that... To that living with Wario skit just popped into my head. I think that's what it's called anyway, the whole loop. But um, look guys, look. It's one of my greatest inventions, Wario Land 4 and the Game Boy Advance. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I don't know why that popped into my head. Like, if it would have continued with the laugh then he would have like turned into the Count from Sesame Street, you know. It's one of my greatest. Uh, what was that voice? <laughs> He's like, Wario started becoming Scottish. <laughs> Just reminds you of that one, one um... Oh, no hand? Wait! <laughs> Just reminds me of that, um... That one British Wario there. What are you doing here? Thing that Vinny said where he just turned Wario into an Australian. <laughs> Wait, he's fighting outside Tesco's. Anyway, oh yeah, uh, the uh, the main villain, <laughs> the main villain for the game. Um, we're gonna stab him a bit. I don't know. I feel like he just deserves to be stabbed a little bit. He did kill like the entire population of everything, so I mean, he deserves it. Can't fault me there, can you? I'm like weirdly experienced at fighting Gleam because just how many times I've like messed around fighting against him. See, I was almost going to do a no damage run until Peach grabbed the ledge. I'm like, absurdly focused right now. And then I mess up like that. Boy, it sure is suspicious how World of Light is ending so soon, even though we only have so many of the characters. And I'm messing up badly. Like, really bad, like an absurdly thingy amount, considering how good it was like going earlier. focus mode now. Can I, can I do it again? Yes! 
Boy, what a, a great game World of Light has been. I sure wonder where half of the characters have went. Surely that isn't suspicious and like foreshadowing for what's going to happen next. Sure is strange how half of the characters are still missing from World of Light. Strange how we beat the final boss so soon. Would have thought this game would have had a much longer story mode. So anyway, plot twist. Villain number two has shown up. And as per usual, looks like a Kirby final boss. There he is. Darkon. Now come on guys, we all saw this coming a mile away. <laughs> like, it was so obvious with how many missing characters there was, wasn't it? Like, how big is our like, roster right now as a um, Toon Link gets sucked into a black hole? <laughs> We've had enough of like throwing people into space, but now just directly throwing them into black holes. <laughs> But anyway, it seems like Toon Link has actually survived, so um, here we go, here's our new hub world. The Dark World, I should introduce it as. But anyway, um, let's see how many people we've actually unlocked. Because, um, what's that now? It's like 58 guys, we'll say. Could be wrong. I haven't done math properly in years because I've not been in school for years, but um, anyway, let's see if there's any more cool stuff we can buy with this and uh, we'll, we'll grab that and uh, oh, we were just slightly off from that. But yeah, let's um, see which one to go for because there's actually three paths. Each one, as you probably imagine, leads to a boss, right? And each one has its own, like, sub-area. And... I feel like we should really go for this one, because this one's quite a, a, a unique sub-area, to be honest. I'm not going to explain what it is until we get there, but... Um, I feel like this will be a, a fun one to go for. But anyway, um, we've got this guy, um, Gamora or Avavago or something. I don't know, I whenever I first heard that thing yeah, in the original like, Smash 4 reveal trailer, um, I thought like Bayonetta was like saying Abadango or something. He was like, I think that's like a, a professional Japanese um, thing yeah, in Smash player or something. I uh, don't know why it sprung into my mind, but it's dead. But anyway, that's where Crazy Hand has been hiding. Aside from his usual spot, the Smash Bros subreddit, Crazy Hand is now hiding in um, several places in World of Dark as well. I wonder how many people will actually get that. There's like a competitive side to the Smash subreddit called Crazy Hand. And I'm not referring to. Oh! I fast fell too fast and killed myself. I think we've had enough of um, Toon Link for one entire lifetime. And because we haven't unlocked that many characters for, you know, a little bit of a while, um, who's fun that we should swap to? Now my usual boy isn't here, so um, I'm going to go for me second in command. 
Bowser. I have a bit of fun messing around with Bowser for a bit. Because I haven't played Bowser for a while on this. Bowser was like my first Smash Me. Because even though like the first time I ever actually played Smash was like this one time when everything was like. It's this one weird thing that happened in school once where teachers didn't know what to do for like an end of term day. So they just kind of. Um, set up a Wii in that, and I had a little go of Brawl on that, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, but that was like my first instance of playing Smash ever. And... But I actually didn't really main a character until... You know, Smash 4. So, um... Bowser is legitimately my first main. Well, actually, no, the first main I actually had was Greninja. And I actually dropped Greninja because just couldn't control him. Also, zero damage run. Fantastic. I wasn't even, like, paying attention. I was not even paying attention then. I was just, like, so, like, concentrated on, like, describing, describing my history with a Smash series that I just kind of, like individually like snapped off each one of Crazy Hand's fingers without even looking. <laughs> Get over there Crazy Hand! <laughs> that would not have made any sense whatsoever but like I just for some reason I have a white cotton glove on the side of me what's it called that I was wearing while I had been cut on the back of my hand from punching the shell the other day. Um, just so that I just like didn't bleed everywhere. And essentially what had happened is I just picked it up and thrown it across the room. Meanwhile, um, if Dark Samus would just stay still, I'd throw her across the stars. Oh, come on, that would have been a really flashy way of KOing someone, as would that. Oh, come on, just just let me do a funny KO, please, because... Uh, I really wanted to do, like, a funny screen KO or something. Because I was going to say, you've heard of Fly Me to the Moon, now get ready to throw you into the sun. <laughs> I would have really wanted to throw Dark Samus into the sun. And we'll leave. Uh, we'll may maybe we'll fight um, Wacko Cracko while we're at it. Cracko is always like such a weird boss. Like, he's a Kirby staple, but he's just like genuinely one of the strangest bosses in the Kirby finger. I think it's just like the beginning of Kirby's fascination with fighting eyeballs. <laughs> I was not even paying attention then, and like, Krakow just like got eliminated. I think he just like deleted himself from existence. So anyway, it seems like we've got um, the time gears or something here going on. I really need to make that Mystery Dungeon video. I swear, I would have like, if Grovile was DLC for this game. Do you know what, I might as well just like make a Grovile move set. Am I really just going to be <laughs> winning this spirit by just throwing stuff at Duck and Dog? <laughs> it's called Wild Gunman and I'm just like throwing the guns at him. <laughs> Imagine just, just like reloading your gun just to throw it at someone. <laughs> right, <Dunk. laughs> 
That's just a really humiliating way of killing someone. Just like picking up a gun and they just throwing it full force on the red. So anyway, we're gonna be beating up with him pit with the um, three second treasures. Which if I believe it like is actually based on is it the regalia or regalia or something? Or some like really specific Japanese thing. Oh, you're not trying that pit. He really thought he was going to spike me. Where did it go? Where did that bomb go? You know what? I was gonna like try and do something cool, but I forgot he had to reflect on. Maybe my brain's not functioning today. That was my fault. That uh. I was trying to go for like a really flashy kill, but then just like I brain deaded the whole thing. That's not even a word, but I agree with you. I have no clue why I'm agreeing with myself now, but... but we're gonna destroy Pit one of these days. I should stop trying to go for flashy kills and just kill Pit outright. I need to do like grab him by the leg and just like Hulk slam him against the ground. I swear every single time I do this fight I do worse. Cause now I'm just like missing grabs outright. And that didn't even break shield even though it's a shield breaking move. And I've done it again! I slid off the ledge and killed myself! I should just understand like the hubris of my own stupidity or whatever. Or whatever kind of whatever hubris means anyway. And just like go for normal stuff. That was my own fault yet again, and I did it twice in a row. I'm just gonna destroy you off the top pit. Sent back to the heavens where he belongs. So anyway, with that complete disaster of a um, of a fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll be wrapping up the episode right there I don't know why I zoomed out like that I think it's because I put the controller against me knee. so if you like this video don't forget to comment rate, like and subscribe and stuff like that and I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs> what a mess of an ending